Mobile Geeks coverage of CES 2014 is powered by ASUS. Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks taking a look at the ZTE Star 2. This is a new flagship device that was just released a few weeks ago in Guangzhou. And it's really quite nice because I am fond of the 5 inch form factor. I think it's a new sweet spot in handsets. And this one comes packed with a ton of features. Let's just start with the uh, physical specifications. So we have a 5 inch display, 1080p, dis uh, it's 1080p. It is 6.9 millimeters thin. And you can see on the side we have room for a uh, SIM card slot and a expandable SD card there up to 32. Internally it already comes with 16 which is pretty good. There's another there's a speaker there on the side and then when we go around the bottom you can see the headphone jack and the micro USB port. Now I love the way that they've done the curvature on the edge here. I've seen a few handsets recently that have uh, had that haven't executed properly on that basically. But what they've done is they've included aviation grade aluminum around the edges, which I think pulls it together and makes it feel a lot more solid in your hand. Now if we keep on going up the device, we can see the power button and the volume rocker, which have a kind of slight um, texturization to it, which feels really nice when you're kind of looking for those, for those buttons. So on the top, uh, you can see there's one of the triple noise mic cancelling features there. And on the back we have, well, this is a Gorilla Glass 3, just like on the front. It's a 13 megapixel shooter, we have the two-tone flash there. Uh, around the front we have a 5 megapixel camera that is also wide angle. Now I'm going to do some cool things here to show you some awesome features. Now this is something that I love seeing. You pull down the notification bar from anywhere. Why doesn't every phone have that? Totally in love. But let's just do something that you're just going to have to believe me that this is really happening. Now I have it here, and then I'm just going to raise it up to my ear. And then it vibrates and says, who would you like to call? Another great feature is that it has offline voice, and it's done really well. It's actually one of the better ones that I've seen, and it's in English, which is great. Some of the Chinese manufacturers have been doing it in Chinese, but haven't been able to do it in English. Open camera. There we go. Switch camera, flash on, see that, wow, switch camera, Edgar and I need a selfie, smile, there we go, I mean it's so fantastic, it really works, it actually works, which is so great, because that's exactly what you want in something that has voice activation. There's nothing more frustrating than yelling at your phone when it's not listening to you. <laughs> so this is a new handset that's been released into China, and we're impatiently waiting for when it's going to be released into the U.S. Right now you can pick it up uh, for about 399 but when it comes into the U.S., it's going to depend on which carriers pick it up and what they decide to uh, sell it to you for it, but I can guarantee you that the way it feels in your hand doesn't feel like a 5 inch phone. I mean the 82% screen ratio just makes it feel a lot smaller. So gotta check it out. The Nubia Star 2, or sorry, ZTE Star 2. Sorry about that, just a Nubia phone. Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. Yeah.